But it's bow. It's a little darker in here. I'm down by the, uh, in Charleston, down by the Coast Guard base, Coos Bay, and I'm just going to go ahead and take a little walk around the area. Coos Bay. Check it out. Station, Coos Bay. You got a couple of, uh, I think, 46 footers. United States Coast Guard Station, Coos Bay, Charleston, Oregon. Department of Homeland Security. Charleston, Oregon. Oh, wait. No, don't welcome. Go home to her. Nobody wants you here. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Welcome Kira to Teep. Charleston. Got a big boathouse right there. Probably holding those up. Well, there's one of the 46 photos. You can't even see them, but you can uh, check it out. Yeah. Coast Guard. I think they're 52 footers. Or 46. I'm not sure. I think they're the fast boats. Really cool looking. Down here at Coos Bay, Charleston, Oregon. The Intrepid. Pretty cool. That's their little boathouse. That's the maintenance yard where they work on them. And it looks like back over there, station, offices, and stuff. Let's go down and check this area out down here. It's open to the public. 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. Linda's Fisheries over here. Looks like they're unloading. Uh, hopefully some uh, like a big old ice maker right there. I was watching them earlier. Yep, putting them fish in there. We're loading the ice. Oh, who's this little guy? It's a good boy. Who's a good boy? Oh, yeah. Are you the security guard? Huh? Are you the security guard? Huh? A little bunch of little fishing boats right here. It's pretty cool. You know, I'll tell you what, though. Something about that smell. The ocean. Beautiful, uh... America right here, baby. You guys get up 3 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning, come down and get their ships ready, little boats ready, and jump on board and take care of business. That's what life's about, baby. You got complaints about life and you're a victim all your life. Don't talk to these guys about being a victim. Hard-working Americans right here, baby. And they love every minute of it, too. They wouldn't probably turn half of this stuff into... Uh, for nothing I know obviously situations that they get into they might go I'm tired of this shit but you know what it's like me in the motorhome after a couple of weeks of being in port and you're just hanging around doing the same shit every day putting up with the terrible governmental situation in our country they probably want to jump on one of these things and get on the way it's all it's about baby Oh, look at this little cool little thing right here. Oh, the sea dog. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. I love that baby right there. There's another one that's cool. It's pretty cool. Off rope, Pacific Bell. Look at that thing. That is awesome. That is cool. Very cool. The sea dog. And a bunch of cool little boats here. Valiant. Bernadette. View. This guy's are chilling right here, enjoying the beautiful view. How you doing? Can't beat that view, right? Yeah, I'm just I'm, I'm that's what I'm doing. I'm just in, smelling that ocean and yep. Oh, there's a cool boat right here, Miss Linda. It's a research boat? Huh? Research boat yeah, here? I learned that he was used to fish in the ocean a long time ago. And then he would call on people out searching for the college people here. 
Oh, cool. Right. And he's had some problems. Oh, no way. Oh, man. Is this thing in port? Is this his spot year round? That dock spot, or is that? Everybody's out here crab fishing. You're allowed, each person's allowed to have one, three, three of those crab nets. Three each, and up to 10 crabs a piece. And then they have to be a certain size. You can see these cool. seagulls are huge. They get enough food. Crabby Patty. Crabby Patty. There he is. He'll be a crab cake before two. Oh before man, winter. that's a nice size too, boy. Yeah, he's a, oh yeah, he's a keeper. Yeah, definitely. Keeper. So what do you guys do? Just throw them in the hot pot and? Well, we actually. Oh, do you take them home? So how? So you can? What's you got to get a permit to be out? Is that what it is? Yeah. And then year, it's a yearly permit. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a nice. Oh, well, yeah. If he's too got out, he's well. If he got out, he's too small. <laughs> Look at all those suckers, boy. See, this is a male. Like, oh, is it a V? Are, females are round. Oh, that's where their egg sac is. This is the male. That's where his little pecker is. Oh, okay. Yep, it doesn't wiggle, so it's full. it's a legal one. Wow, look at that. You always pick the biggest one and then... Measure. Look at this guy, he's trying to get out. Behind you. Aw, oh, poor wow. guy. There you go. Man, there's a lot of them in, huh? In there. Yep. Will he find a war this guy? They do. Oh, you see, you only keep the males. No, well, it'd have to be that bigger. Or bigger. That's what I, was I mean. Just looking to see if there's another one in here. He's not big enough. I can tell by looking at him, but I'll make sure. Oh, you're trying to get away too. You're it's so funny how they walk sideways. Yeah. <laughs> well, and you... there he goes. That's a pretty good size one. Nope. Yeah, and the way you hold them is you grab those two back ones and put your thumb on there. Okay. Then they won't. Yeah. And then you. Can... Yeah, he's real tough. He's a hard one. He's got a lot of meat on him. Is that how you tell? Yeah, he squeezes his leg. Oh, okay. If they're real soft, they're they're not hard enough. What do you got? Molten. What do you got? A piece of chicken in there? Yep, hind quarter. They've been picking out pretty good, though. Well, they go. Then you know when you know what they say to themselves. They go, "Well, we're too small, so let's go ahead and eat." And then when they pull us in, we'll, we're just going to head out. Got one. I got one there, two here, and a red. All right. Oh, red sweet. Box. What's a red? Oh, you got some big ones there. Yeah, they're acceptable. So this is a red? That's a big red rock crab. And that means what now? Just diff different species. Okay. Wow, like a, like thank a you. Backing up cows. Under. Yeah. No, a bunch of little ones there, boy. Big ones, but I don't know if it's big enough. This one here is the biggest, I think. Yeah, it is. Well, it looks good. Yeah, we'll see. He's pretty soft in the belly. I don't know about his. Yeah, he's all right. Nope, not quite. Nope. Hanging out okay. down here in the crab shack or whatever shack over here in Charleston. Getting ready to have some uh, fish and chips, and then uh, that would be it. So uh, I'll let you know when you come. Right out that door, there's a boat, so that's where it comes from. Three-piece halibut fish and chips. Three-piece halibut. Down here, at Charleston. Cool little little restaurant here. That's a nice little boat right there. Oh yeah. 
It's a pilot boat. I wonder what the deal with that is. Lights on, so maybe in 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 there somewhere. But I'd like to have that gig. That's pretty cool. Second, third time I've seen this kind of, this boat come falling in here. Yep, oh, man, just calm down right there. Boom. Just laid it out. Turn the motors off. And just haul the ass in here and then boom. It's a cool little boat though. I like that spot up there where those motor homes are at. The little beach over there. Shit. I might need to go check that beach out over there. Access to the this guy's just sitting in his little boat over there's no pole or anything. He's just enjoying the relaxing on the bay there. Houston. Down by the docks. I've seen a few of these uh, little houses here. I think it has to do with uh, the Russian Orthodox. I'm really thinking it does. It just looks familiar. The memorial for those that uh, in Charleston, those that lost their lives at sea. It's a pretty good, cool little saying over here. It says, uh, to the sea they turned for life. To the sea they gave their lives. Interesting. Wow, it's very nice. It's a nice little RV park here. They cater to, like I said, crabbers and things like this. Charleston, that's a big thing. Out there crabbing. I'll show you videos of that earlier. Nice little park. It's got a little space, not much space between each uh, vehicle, but they got grass. <laughs> Time to get a park, it's got grass. That's pretty cool. Nice little trees here. Spots. See, so like this spot right here, you can tell this is a uh, guy's got a big Winnebago, it's got a big ass boat. Not big, but a nice sized boat. So he's got his trailer and his boat in the same spot. That's pretty cool. Huh. This is the laundry, the uh, showers. Austin spent the day down here outside of the campground. It's about uh, four miles out of uh, Sunset Bay State Park. I'm off Wednesday and Thursday, so down here in Charleston hanging around and just checking all the boats out all day and had some good lunch and just sort of walking around enjoying the time decided to uh, stay down here in the marina which is uh, not a bad price in the late 20s it's about uh, 90 80 spots here it has uh, shower bathrooms laundry and everything's real close so when you get done here you can go out here and have some coffee at the local coffee shop so Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking. Please comment on the video. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you next time. I have uh, another couple of uh, weeks here. So looking forward to uh, you guys checking out the video. Let me know what you think. Have a great night. Bye.